all the demon families are gathering right now. But don't worry, because CodKingdom.com has got what you need for Streets of New Capenna. Go get your singles, go get your sealed product, get whatever you need at CodKingdom.com. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Single Scoop. This week we're playing a fiery hot deck. That's right, we're playing a Chandra tribal deck. We're going to be using all of the Chandras uh, to hopefully just get a W. And then of course we're using Unlicensed Hearse to slow our opponents down. But otherwise, pretty straightforward. Jam Chandras, keep uptaking and get a W. Uh-oh, how do we beat a Yorion deck? Alright, well, hopefully we could just... Alt a bunch of things, I guess. I'm not really sure. This is going to be kind of painful. All right, so we play the regulator. That should at least give me something to do. Uh, I'm going to have to try to resolve a Chandra dress to kill, but I might not get to do that here. I mean, I'm just going to throw stuff in front of them. They're going to probably counter every one of them, right? Yeah. So we need to get to Awakened Inferno. Like, we just have to keep throwing stuff in front of them until we get to do something. If it's red, you may cast it. Uh, what do I want to do? Discard a red card or a swamp? Let's go ahead and do that. Sure. That's pretty good. So, the Wandering Emperor. I just drew another Chandra. Hopefully they can't, they can't kill Chandra unless they play another Wandering Emperor. So I guess there is that. Portable Hole eats my Regulator, unfortunately. Narset, sure. Narset really shuts down the Regulator, you got it. Alright, Omen of the Sea. Seems good. Alright, let's go ping there. Play other Chandra, right? And then I can go ahead and plus uptick here. And I can remove a token all while still being able to... You know what? I may as well just minus, though. Yeah, I'll just minus. There's no reason not to. And it's... Okay, so X plus one instead if that target is a creature or planeswalker. One damage instead if that target is... Okay, hold on. Let me read that again. Light up the knight deals X damage to any target if it deals X plus one damage instead if that target is a creature or planeswalker. Okay, cool. All right, now we have the ability to go and play big Chandra, so Awakened Inferno is going to be really good here, as we're hoping to just be able to, like, ping down their health total slowly and miserably. All right, they don't have haste, thankfully. They have to kill off their Narset if they want to do anything. All right, two tops, so that's double counterspell, probably. Or, like, land, uh, land and counterspell or something. Sure, there goes Narset. Ooh, there goes my Chandra Torture Defiance. That's not good for us. I mean, luckily, we do have another one, so there is that. I guess we just keep playing Chandra's? And we go ahead. They have a portable hole or something. That's what they're representing here. X plus one. No, I want to save that for Teferi. Yep, there's Teferi. So what does Teferi play? Or what does Teferi do? All right, Teferi's going to tuck something. Pro oh, no, does not tuck something. Good. That's great. All right, so they, they definitely have counter spells, right? That That's for sure. Let's add some red mana. I know this resolves... So I can plus make an emblem here, force them to actually have to deal with my Chandra. Uh, I have one, two, I can go ahead and let me see here. So flashback is four plus removing something. Let me think here, I can get rid of the token. Token kills so much stuff here. I guess the first thing is I gotta see like, okay, if I kill Teferi, token kills Teferi. If I minus, they just tuck. All right, so I am gonna just try to go ahead and kill Teferi. And now we go ahead and go for two. Wait, does that not work? Deals one plus, oh, plus one. X is one, so it'll deal two. All right, sweet. So we got to keep all of our planeswalkers, or unless they play something here. I think they're gonna try to find big Teferi again. 
Okay, they must have found that and or some way to remove all my planeswalkers. Yep, there's Fateful Absence. We do need, we have other copies. I just got to find them. Uh, let's do this. Let's see if this resolves. Okay, that it does. All right, so whenever you, you may pay, if you do copy the ability. All right, so I'm going to plus one. That would net four mana. All right, let's go ahead and do this. I'll pay the one. So I have plus four here. Now I get to go and use the mana to make, to copy and go off again, potentially. All right, got a token. I mean, I guess from here I just pass, right? Uh, this way, if they play their Wandering Emperor, I can go ahead and kill it. All right, so we get rid of Wandering Emperor. They have a 2-2. They can do whatever with the 2-2, that's fine. Sure, Portable Hole get rid of my token, probably. Another Wandering Emperor. Okay, so that kills four, uh, Chandra 4. All right, what can I do now? I can ditch both. Oh, perfect. Okay, never mind. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. Yes, I would like to pay the red, which would then net me, essentially, the same ability twice. Four, six, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Which would then allow me to play big Chandra copy that blow up another Chandra. Okay. If they have Spell Pierce, they, they get me so good here. Oh my god. Like, Spell Pierce straight up wrecks me. So I'll be able to ping down their token. I can pick that off. Leave them with the body there. That's fine. Yeah, may as well, right? No reason not to. All right, so we're just flinging hot, fiery hot spells at our opponent's face right now. One of our Chandras is going to take three. The other... I mean, they probably... If they have Teferi, they're going to go and tuck something. And I assume it's got to be Chandra 5. Unless they have another portable hole, which... Oh, okay. Well, they, they really don't like my uh, regulator. Wow. Fun patrol. Rude. Maximum rude. Dress to kill is down. All right. Send damage upstairs. Seems good. Makes red. Seems great. Let me see something here. So this deals one damage target creature and or uh, target player and, or, and one damage up to one target creature that player controls. Upstairs, downstairs. Pick off the token. Let's crack a clue token. So this way, if we draw a land, we can just play it. All right, well, it's another Chandra, but this way they don't get to pick off uh, two tokens with Portable Hole. All right, they can't handle the Hush Chandra. Two lander, a lot of interaction. I, I, I'll try it. Let's hope I don't get punished for this. All right, so they're a red deck. Um, Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just... I don't know if I want to shock next turn, though. That's even, even worse. It's three. It's not even a shock. Yeah, 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 they always got that. That's, actually, you know what? Yeah. I just kill that. Chandra's Triumph. Oh, even better. Send the damage upstairs. They have another Haster, though, and our Chandra dies, but that gets them to commit to the board, which means that our Anger gets more value. And, of course, they always could just burn my Chandra, but, you know, what am I going to do? Okay. That's dope. That is interesting. So I could play that Chandra. I could shock plus two. Hold on, let me, let me see if I get this right here. So I shock, I plus two, I have two Chandras. I anger the gods. Yeah, that's pretty good. As long as like, yeah, and even, even if auto tapper dunked me there, that'd have been fine. All right, so we get rid of two creatures. Chain Whirls with Squirrels is back. All right. I have the mana to shock, shock. Let me see here. Shock, shock, play one. Yeah, okay, cool. So we add the mana upstairs. Add the mana. This is going to feel really bad because, you know, I really don't want to be using two shocks. But... 
It's the only way I can get a giant out. I'm hell bent. So now they gotta clear my giant. All right, so they're gonna stomp back. That's not too bad. We're about even now. Three, five, six. Yeah, let's just do that. And we go in for damage. They're probably gonna try to make a bigger Bone Crusher Giant. They, like, it's free, it's right there, it's guaranteed. Oh, Toblerone, hold on, that's... That's actually really well sequenced for them. Oh, that's terrible. See, I attack, I plus, that doesn't change anything. What's my line? What's my line? This isn't good. Because I need to deal one more damage and then that Kamano will kill me. But I guess they're out of cards. Let's, let's just dig. I'm so good at Magic the Gathering premiere card game for ages 13 plus. That's so funny. I can't believe I peeled it. <laughs> I'm so good at Magic. Uh, the better player, you know? The better player is one. Great. <laughs> you know, this is a moderately interactive hand. Yeah, I'll keep it. Answers early game if it's red deck, which is like the ladder right now. I lose to Cheese Fang, though. All right, so it's humans. That is much more doable. All right, so they didn't play anything. So what is this, Mardu humans or something? Or I mean, uh, Abzan humans. It's looking that way. All right. So I have to blow up the hopeful initiate because if I don't, Dauntless Bodyguard can sack, thus fizzling my uh, bone, bone Crusher Giant. Oh, that's unbearable. That's hilariously bad. Okay. It being an X4 is, I think, unbeatable for us. <laughs> oh, well, I guess we have Chandra. There is that part of it. But we're trading a Chandra. Ooh, that doesn't feel good. Yeah, I think I gotta get a body out in front. Body out in front, thus allowing me to potentially go Chandra Torch of Defiance, blow up their Adeline. Okay, this is actually kind of good for us because now I can sweep, hold back a blocker. I, I mean, we took a lot of damage, but. Yeah, no. All right, so I have a body again. It's only a 1 4 this time, as opposed to like the massive body that it once was. They still have Coco, which is also concerning. Yep. Good God, what does that do? Other target controlled by a different player other than at least about... What? Enter the battlefield, exile any number of other target creatures controlled by different players until... I mean, yeah, okay, I guess I'm dead, but like... Yeah, there's no way I survive this. I kill that, I get that back. They send five bodies in. GG's! I haven't run into a single Cheese Fang deck. I think I'm gonna keep this. I feel like it's about time. I'm due for running into a Cheese Fang. That's a lot of the latter. Oh. Okay. Well, that's not great. But at least I have my mana to play the other Chandra, so there is that. Okay, Bishop of Wings. Miserable. Miserable. Chandra's Regulator. Not great. This is, like, not going well for us. My fault. I thought I could get a little bit greedy, but turns out I'm about to get punished. I guess, what's the line here? I can activate, throw away Big Chandra. Yeah, let's just throw, because at least that one can do something. Let me think here. So I can snipe off two bodies. Actually, I don't think that's gonna work, but next turn I can. I gotta kill one of these. If I don't kill one of these, they're gonna get like, they, they clearly have the ability to gain like five, right? Because they play an angel, they gain five. They need a land. They found it, we're dead. If it's resplendent, yep, we're dead. Oh, that's so good for them. Jesus. I guess I can kill the bishop and I can kill the resplendent. It's not great. All right, so I want this to resolve last. So yes, pay the one. Kill the Bishop of Wings first. Kill the Resplendent Angel. There we go. Then I have to wait till seven mana, then I can minus. Uh-oh. 
That's bad. I really needed that. Okay. Great. I'm at five mana. Interesting. Oh, that's so bad. Okay. That's three, six. I plus I can go up to, but they play Valkyrie. I'm pretty much dead. I'm dead no matter what. What outs do I have? How big is this creature right now? This is a three, three. So that sent him down to 30. I'm going to chance it here and hope they don't have anything. Because I got to get them the emblem on them. Oh, come on. Yeah, you got it. Good game. I like it. It's risky, but hopefully I draw a land. Simple as that. I mean, I need to draw like a few, like two. Uh-oh. Oh, it's spirits. Okay. Uh-oh. We didn't draw a land. This is not looking good. I'm just killing it right away because I don't even want to play the game of like, what if they have something? I'm just going to blow it up. We did not draw what we wanted, and that feels terrible. Okay. Okay, that this is about as bad as it probably can go for us. X is zero. That'll make it one no matter what. All right, I pass. Again? That's pretty good. Luckily, we have a lot of cheap removal in this matchup, so that does feel nice. All right, let's see if they decide they want to tap out to draw. Perfect, they do. All right, cool. So I guess we pass. I mean, we've dealt with all their one drops. Uh, I'm just going to play a body, right? Like, there's no reason not to. Oh, God, no, not this card again. How many Spectral Sailors can one human have? I feel like I never see them when I play this deck. <laughs> well, their deck, that is. Uh-oh. That's a problem. I didn't even know I needed to have my creature tap, to be honest. I mean, I may as well just attack, right? Uh, target creature doesn't tap during its next untap step. I think I'm going to blow this up. There's Rattle Chains, okay. Misery.net, you got it. So, let's see. What happens? I mean, there's no way I get to resolve anything now, right? I am, I, at this point, I think we're just dead, right? So we just play it. They have counter spells, right? There's just no way they don't. Oh, that's so good. Just phase out like Rattle Chains or something? That's weird. Why, why, what? Why not the Rattle Chains? I guess you probably have another one or something. Oh, no. Actually, you could just keep playing what you're playing now. Red, blue, which would then turn this into red, blue. Well, that's weird because I didn't want it like that. Okay, hold on. Oh, right. I can only use it on planeswalkers, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. So I think we want to go with... I'm just going to plus, right? There's no reason not to. We've got to draw their counter spells out somewhere. All right, so we're out of cards. This is a little bit scary now because they just get to keep drawing and we don't have anything. But realistically, I just wanted to get something to come down so I can use light up the night. All right, this is like getting pretty bad for us. Like these are definitely counter spells, right? Like they're 100% they're counter spells. The spectral sailor has won them, like been winning them the game the whole time though. Good Lord, is it good. I mean, yeah, we try for this, right? Geist Light Snare, what has that read? Pay three, so they could still have that. Going for this will get them to use it and then we lose Chandra. Yeah, that's, that's probably not where I wanna be. At least this way I get to like hold up my mana in case they decide they want to use Faceless Haven, which I, I I want them to to try to use. Gets me another red source. I need to find Chandra, big Chandra. Oh, that's so bad for us. Okay, well, at least they send it to Dress to Kill. Or they don't, and that's fine, too. All right, so they're going to just deal me four, draw more cards, while also drawing cards. So they are pulling very far ahead. Oh, uh, I was going to see if they were going to animate that and somehow like get rattle chains out because they could and that'd be really sweet. 
Well, that's exactly what we're looking for, isn't it? I at least know this resolves. I minus for four. I get blown out if they have rattle chains, and I assume they do. I give them an emblem, and I just keep going, and I keep upticking, right? But they rattle chains me, and this is like the end. I don't know if I want to rattle chain, or if I, if I want to minus here, because like, okay, Jesus, this is kind of tough, because I need my, my Chandra to live. They go three, five, seven. I mean, yeah, I guess I have to do it, and they probably have the rattle chains, unfortunately. There's not much I can do. Oh, wow, that's really good. Okay, so I think I'm dead here. They just grow the whole team. That's unfortunate. Oh, and they had the rattle chains. They had it all. Good game. I'm keeping this in hopes that we get paired against uh, Gre Cheese Fang. All right, we're dead. <laughs> it's, it's not Cheese Fang. GG's. We have a bunch of dead cards in our hand. Mr. Roskin, what would you play? Any three drop is probably a bad time. Let's just blow up the elf. I mean, if you played Besaidu, that tells me your mana base is weird. Okay. Mox Amp. Oh, I know what you're playing. Gosh darn it. Luckily, we have a silly amount of unlicensed hearse. I mean, we can. Unlicensed hurts like almost everything at this point, but they do have a lot of mana because they're gonna paradox engine us Kennen how do I oh I, I can just blow it up <laughs> right that part But now I don't have a way to deal with Emery, which I don't know if that matters. I guess that's the good news, but oh God, I right, anger the gods off the top, please uh, or not Is this Paradox Engine time? I mean, because they have the mana, right? So, oh, there's the briefcase, sure. I just got to find exactly, please, just one time. Please. One time for everyone at home. Let me just find what I'm looking for. Anger of the Gods to at least, okay, that's not the worst thing, sure. They don't have a legendary, but they could use that to tap down, make a mana that's one, two, three, four. They have to sack that. I think I still just pass, right? I'm waiting for them to find another Kinnon. That's probably more problematic. I'm at 20, so sure. Keep going. Oh my God, this game. Let's start building up my board. As funny as it sounds, I'm just gonna, I, I guess, hit them. Briefcase, okay. Seems good. Riveting, all right. All right, we gain three back. Make two bodies. Allowing me to crew, get in for five. Unless they want to block, of course. They're more than welcome to not block. Any colors, that's one blue colorless, right? Kinnon, there we go. That's what I want to die. They have so much mana right now, though. Oh my god, I think they can do it, right? Two, four, six, eight. Ten. Yeah, they, they have more than enough mana right now. I mean, I, I have to do it, right? And I just have to hope they miss. Hello. Okay, cool. This isn't bad. I mean, we have the regulator. Yeah, we have the regulator curve into the triumph. I mean, into a Chandra. Only concern is like, how aggressive is this start from them? Apparently not very. Do I hold up Chandra's triumph? Yeah, I think I do. Holding up Chandra's triumph allows me to blow up whatever they could play here. Okay, probably, yeah, the giant. That's a good thing to have them get rid of. Yeah, you got it. Now we can play Dress to Kill. Dress to Kill will go up one. Ping them, pass. We gotta make them spend a ton of burn on this, essentially. Oh, Toblerone is like the worst thing that could probably happen to us. But luckily, 
send that damage upstairs. We minus. We kill off Toblerone. Oh my god, that's perfect. Alright, Chain Whirler doesn't actually kill any of my Chandras. Burning Tree. Stomp. Eh, not bad. Okay, so let me let me think here. So I, I play this, I pay the one. Does that do anything? No, I play this. Three, five. Okay, so I think the way I go about it is this gets me six mana. Allows me to go ahead and just play Chandra Awakened Inferno, right? Just minus, get rid of this board. And then I've got Chandra's re uh, Regulator next turn. We're still at a pretty healthy 15 here. Oh, if we, if we, un oh, okay. This is perfect. Yeah, I'll pay the one. You know, it's so weird to say I'll pay the one outside of Commander. See, this nets me four mana. I can't do anything about that. No, decline, I don't need to. But I will copy the emblem on this Chandra. And now we should be good. We have the regulator out. This is GG's. Oh my god. <laughs> Playing against Mono Blue, they were able to tempo us out. And of course, you know, Angel's just kind of too big for us. So uh, I eventually went on to add a couple of Fry's later on to kind of deal with those matchups because we did see them a lot. And Fry also hits Grease Fang and Parhelion. So it's nice to know that you can hit all those targets. Of course, Fry is really bad in like you know any other matchup that doesn't have those colors so hopefully you dodge them uh but yeah and it's even good against all the planeswalkers against the control deck so take it for a spin if you're a chandra fanatic uh but yeah the deck is more so mimi and just for funsies so i don't know if I, this is something i'd recommend to climb the ladder with but thanks for watching this episode and as always feel free to find more of my content here on mtggoldfish.com just by of course browsing the page and of course thanks for watching any and all content here on goldfish uh, other than that, you can find me on social media at The Asian Avenger and, of course, TikTok, you know, Instagram, Twitter, all of it at The Asian Avenger, twitch.tv slash Asian Avenger. So thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next video. Peace.